So Jason Risley, we're here with Coach Ballgame, and otherwise known as James Lowe, but be quiet next to the kids, or maybe not. Yeah, well, it, it's Coach Ballgame. It's Coach Ballgame, it's Coach Ballgame, okay. Yeah. So tell us about the story about how Coach Ballgame became to be. You know, I, I played baseball all through college, mm -hmm. and I didn't get drafted, and uh, I kind of had uh, uh, an eye-opening experience facing Justin Verlander in college, and huh. he threw a curveball. Uh, and I didn't swing, but the umpire called it a strike, and and I, I noticed that I dry heaved uh, when the pitch was was passing me. Okay. And um, old Dominion, right? Old Dominion, and uh, this was probably circa 2003. But when you dry heave mid pitch uh, against somebody that's you know a major leaguer, that's pretty eye opening, and that's when I knew I was destined to be a uh, little league baseball coach. So yeah. I, uh, I moved from Providence uh, to California, started coaching right away, and it's been 15 years of really just kind of learning how to coach and, yeah. and picking up new tricks along the way. That's great. Yeah. So let's talk about a little bit, because you have a different approach to getting kids to love baseball, which is awesome, right? You're, you're getting kids to embrace baseball and treat it as not just, it's it's fun, right? Yeah, exactly. It's a game. So, so a kid should always treat it like a game and have and fun. But tell us a little bit about some of your approaches. Well, I, when I started coaching, I realized right away, every kid isn't like I was as a kid. I wanted to play baseball 25 hours a day. Yep. And I was always outside. My mom had to call me and my brothers in uh, to get cleaned off and, and eat dinner. But uh, I realized right away, some of these kids think this game is is boring. Some of these kids are, are, are first timers and they're not too sure about it. Mm -hmm. And I started out coaching like they were 18 and they loved baseball. Yeah. But they're five and they don't love baseball. And so I had a little learning curve and I just slowly along the way I, I figured out, well, they're not having fun and I'm not having fun the way I'm coaching uh, that way. So I just started to really figure out how they ticked. Yeah. And the thing that really put the light bulb off in my head is I, w one of the coaches that I learned from, his name's Sean Flicky, mm -hmm. he would always get to know each player. That's good. And he would, he would kind of meet them on their mm -hmm. playing field, uh, find out their interests, yep. give them a nickname based on that, mm -hmm. and then you, they feel safe. They feel like right. they can mess up, they can mm -hmm. have fun, they, mm -hmm. they can be free to, uh, to play without any kind of uh, pressure, yep. and 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 I found that to really work and draw in the masses. So mm -hmm. now, after 15 years of, of figuring it all out, I'll put a on deck drum in the on deck circle. Yep, that's really fun, uh, and I'm constantly engaging them with um, activity. Their uh, attention span is short, yeah, so let's exactly. make sure everyone's having a good time the whole time. The whole time, yeah. and and it, I try to be as interesting or more than a video game would be to mm -hmm. them. So I'm constantly um, asking them to get down and ready. I have songs, catchphrases, things that rhyme, uh, any type of music uh, and stories. So I, yeah. I, I kind of get to implement all of my passions, music, writing, comedy, baseball, wackiness, all into one gig. I run what we call a sandlot game in mm -hmm. a different town in Orange County every day of the week. And uh, you'll probably see that in a little bit, mm -hmm. uh, but I, we just drop some bases down and we we introduce the game of baseball to these kids, but in a way nobody's ever seen it. Well, Coach Ballgame, oh, thank you so much for joining me. Absolutely. I appreciate this time that you spent with the kids and, and showing us what you do. Pleasure. And I like what you're doing. Everything you're doing is great. Clemente on three. One, two, three. Coach Ballgame is certainly living his American dream, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>